Good morning. It's Sunday school, and we have Miss Constance with us. I've been um, <laughs> induced into servitude with my frog in my voice, which probably has something to do with a little goat cheese I ate yesterday. <clears throat> oh, that goat cheese, as we say in it the was, devil card. It, it was a very small amount. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm just back from a whirlwind walk to the temple coffee shop. He's trying to say he's not prepared enough. <laughs> we stayed in bed. That a, too. We stayed in bed a lot and watched really awesome Japanese TV, uh, documentary type stuff today. Yeah, it was a pretty cozy morning. But it's going to rain here in like an hour. And it's not going to stop raining supposedly for a day or so. So I just had to get my, I didn't even sip my coffee until I got back home. So, if you'll excuse me. I get my ah, so that's what time is. I don't get to find out till one o'clock this afternoon. That's when I have my coffee break. About anyway, for the last couple of days, we've been reading from this classic, rare. The Relevant Magazine. <laughs> From 1981. From 1981. Uh, yeah. Constance, I told you how we printed this, okay, with a multi-lith 115 or something like that uh, in our garage. It was like that a, doesn't sound as romantic as it was. What did it look like in the garage? It that, looked like a medieval alchemy or, uh, or some kind. A room of some kind, there were giant trash cans full of fire, right? Yeah. Of metal trash cans full of fire, which is crazy because they were printing with flammable ink right. on this giant cast iron looking, it wasn't, but it was heavy metal, huge. I don't know how three or four people moved it into the garage at a time. I, and that was difficult thing but that chugged along like like some 199 factory <laughs> it was and they were up always totally in the, all night doing this and and the bathroom that was adjacent to the it was closest we had an extra bathroom at that house too but we never used it but um they had a sink full of some kind of chemicals it was something that they were rinsing something off within there i don't know but anyway it was it was actually well, the romantic and the, it was visually thrilling <laughs> in the middle of the night. They looked, yes. And we did two or three uh, uh, issues. Uh, and uh, we even did the Yi Ching issues, which, which had a beautiful uh, uh, continuous, dragon on, continuous the dragon on the front and back. Uh, with oh. the dragon with a Yi Ching sticks and that David Wilson. Well, let's get down to this important stuff. But we also, we were up all night printing printing that thing. And I, there were no drugs involved. No, there were no drugs involved, probably, truly. Probably, probably the, the inhaling of the fumes yeah. from the printer, but I don't know. And uh, we were up all night and we finished all all the pages front and back and everything else and uh, just uh, ha had them drying somewhere to to put it together. But we just said, let's print the envelopes. We're going to send them out again. So we changed the ink to red and, and uh, printed the envelopes that we sent out because people subscribed to it. Or we sent it out free to every uh, active OTO member that we had the address to. But anyway, those days are past. Return with us now to the present. Mm -hmm. And I ran across this in the back cover. It's the Emerald Tablet of Hermes by Cyril Gray. Now, Cyril Gray is this fellow right here, Alistair Crowley. It's one of his nom de plumes. Now, I don't know where else the uh, Emerald Tablet uh, is available. I think it's in the Equinox, the, the 
equinox series somewhere, not in Gems of the Equinox. Don't know where I, I got it. I'm sure you can Google around and find it all over the place and find it where it was first published. But at the time in 1981, it was first published right here. Okay, uh, in modern times anyway. Uh, and uh, what Crowley did with, uh, with the Tao Te Ching, with his King Cao King, and what he did with the Yi Ching, with his uh, uh, translation of the, of the Yi Ching, he also did a, that same kind of number on the Emerald Tablet of Hermes. Now, Emerald Tablet of Hermes, as far as, as uh, I'm concerned, is uh, almost the equivalent, or the equivalent almost, it, of, a, of a Western Tao Te Ching. Okay, it's so short, like 13 little verses. And, and uh, oh, they say, well, it's the secret of alchemy. Sure, it's the secret of alchemy, but it's also the secret of baking bread and the secret of picking your nose. It's the secret. And the Catholic Church. And it's the secret of the Catholic <laughs> Church. It's the, the secret of Hinduism. It's the secret of, of, of uh, uh, absolutely uh, everything except perhaps... Uh, uh, misguided political no, no, no. philosophies. No, no, no. But anyway, back in, can I see the cover of this just for a second? Okay, yeah, I, 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 don't I, I, my I monkey bookmark. Okay, back in, uh, uh, no, well, 1995. 1995, uh, I was asked by the, the Ciceros, uh, to uh, contribute an article to the Art of Hermes from the Golden Dawn Journal, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, that was later, I published it later, in Angels, Demons, and Gods of the New Millennium. Okay, because I was so proud of it, okay? If you don't have Angels, Demons, and Gods of the New Millennium, please make the publisher happy and buy one, okay? You may double the sales for the year if you do that, okay? <laughs> Angels, Demons, and Gods of the New Millennium. Uh, has an, well, it doesn't just have the Emerald Tablet. It has your article of, of your explanation between each verse. Yes, it's my commentary on the Emerald Tablet of Hermes. And I used as my... Uh, uh, tablet text, uh, one that I first read in uh, Manly Palmer Hall's Secret Teach or uh, uh, Secret of, uh, uh, or what is it, uh, Masonry, okay, the Secret Keys of Freemasonry. And Constance, <laughs> now I haven't told her this. No, I did, but like four minutes before we went on the air here. Uh, Constance is going to read it, each of the little 13 sections, and then I'm going to read what Crowley's distillation, poetic distillation of that verse is. It, oh, I'm going to say something. I'm going to leave out the uh, the title of the book and what volume it's in, and I'm also going to leave out uh, the Greek letters, because because I added those. Okay, really? yeah, those are just Greek letters to to indicate one, two, three, four. So, oh, Mr. Smarty Pants, I'm Mr. Smarty Pants, and you don't have to worry your pretty little head. I'm not going to. I'm ignoring <laughs> it as usual. <laughs> okay, so what does it start off by saying? Well, are, you gonna, are we going to actually start now? Yes. This is it. This is. <laughs> On with the show, is this, this is, is it. This is as good as it's going to get? Yep. <laughs> oh, darn. That's our prep. I've, <laughs> I've warmed them up for you, dear. <laughs> <laughs> the secret work. Chairam Telat Mechasat. Chairam, the universal agent. One in essence, but three in aspect. It is true and no lie. 
certain, and to be depended upon, that the superior agrees with the inferior, and the inferior with the superior, to effect that one truly wonderful work. Tabula smar smagradina which is I guess yeah that's from the emerald tablet from, yes. you don't have to do I'm that I'm not going to oh, okay. about once I said it. I told you earlier so just do the uh, do the text one more time just the text part it is true and no lie certain and to be depended upon that the superior agrees with the inferior and the inferior with the superior to affect that one truly wonderful work. Utter the word of majesty and terror, true without lie and certain without error. And of the essence of the truth, I know the things above are as the things below. The things below are as the things above. Okay. As all things owe their existence to the will of the only one, so all things owe their origin to one only thing, the most hidden by the arrangement of the only God. To wield the ones, the, excuse me, to wield the one thing's thaumaturgy, love, as all from one sprang, and by contemplation, so all from one were born, by permutation. The father of that one only thing is the son. Its mother is the moon. The wind carries it in its wings, but its nurse is spiritus earth. That one only thing after God is the father of all things in the universe. Sun sired, moon bore, this unique universe. Air was its chariot and earth its nurse. Here is the root of every talisman of the world since the whole world began. Here is the font and source of every soul. Its power is perfect after it has been united to a spirit as earth. Let it be spilt on earth, its strength is whole. Separate, separate that spiritus earth from the dense or crude earth by means of a gentle heat with much attention. Now gently, subtly with thine art conspire to find the gross dividing earth and fire. In great measure it ascends from the earth up to heaven and descends again, newborn on the earth, and the superior and the inferior are increased in power. Lo, it ascendeth and descendeth, even and swift, an endless band of earth and heaven. Thou shalt by this means possess the glory of the whole world, and therefore all obscurity shall flee away from thee. Thus it receiveth might of duplex love. The powers below conjoined with those above. So shall the glory of the world be thine, and darkness flee before thy sovereign shrine. This is the potent force of all force, 
for it will overcome everything subtle and penetrate everything solid. This is the strong strength of all strength. Surpass the subtle and subdue it. Pierce the crass and salve it. So bring all things to their fated perfection. For by this was all created. In this manner the world was created, but the arrangements to follow this road are hidden. O oh, marvel of miracle, O oh, magic mode, all things adapted to one circling code. Since three parts of all wisdom I may claim, Hermes, thrice great and greatest is my name. What I have written of the one sole son, his work is here divined and dared and done. For this reason, I am called Hiram Telat Matasat, one in essence, but three in aspect. Is that it? Oh, no, there's more. Okay, you finish off, because that's where Crowley ended. Oh, so, uh, good. Yeah. We won't let him explain the mystery of the Holy Trinity. No, so... Okay, in this Trinity is hidden the wisdom of the whole world. It is ended now, what I have said concerning the effects of the sun. Is not Mercury the sun god? No, that's not... Uh, that's not it looks like it is. Uh, no, I added that. Oh, okay. well then. Why is it in? Because it's my essay. and You can add whatever you want. But what were you going to say? What were you going to say? I wasn't going to be here at first. I'll comment on you. you said, oh, <laughs> I was just going to read the whole thing over again in, in one in uninterrupted flow and then and say goodbye. Say oh, God, Law never wants a conversation on anything. And I just always want to talk. <laughs> well, well, I, well I, what, I, do you, what do you think about that, dear? I can be completely wrong when I talk. And I, at this point, my what life, are your thoughts on I, that? I, on this point, I, I don't actually care if I'm wrong. Okay. Um, well, it seems like everybody always thinks that the that, that talking about creation is oh, there's this big nothing that created something. Well, I'm I don't dwell in those realms anymore. I'm trying not. She to. don't do that. I don't do that. Uh, that doesn't. Sound. It's hard to have devotion to a big nothing, isn't it? I mean, so when you get to six, your uh, your whole thing is devotion, and that's what hooks you up to automatically to the. One, two, three, which is one thing. So it's yeah. always just one. So anyway, so how are you going to have devotion to a nothing? I mean, let's face it. Just think about that to start with. <laughs> so I don't think it's a big, I think it's in completely the opposite direction. I think it says there, It to me it says there's only one thing, which to me happens to be a something. <laughs> yeah. There's, it's, there's, there's one, one God, one will, one thing. And that something is it three and one? It's, 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 uh, that, that's something. It doesn't create like, you know, taking pieces of somebody's rib or it sounds so uh, grosser. That sounds what? Like the, that sounds like the grosser earth ex explanation. Okay. It's that something happens to be what the Beatles say it is. Everything you know comes from the Beatles. Love. That something is love and light and it's in life and it's in extension all the time so it just extends itself because the the inferior agrees with the superior and vice versa it extends itself down into nothing and what we see <laughs> nothing is real what we see the creation everything is really nothing and that's and exactly the, the that's exactly the 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 secret of the the princes princesses and the, that's why the ace and the princess okay goes down it, it goes down that's why they're one thing and not two things not a beginning or an end and when you hit the the five equals six your guardian angel and all that devotion and all that you automatically see the something 
<laughs> that's up there above you because you're united with it. You see it in all the nothing down there. So that's why Mother Teresa would say, I see Jesus in everybody's face. Because she's she saw the something in the every all the nothing. And in all of creation, you see it. And the, the, the what does it say about attention? The with great attention, good. separate the earth, okay, spirit first, of earth from first, the earth. By love and great attention. By love and your mind. Your mind is what creates. Your mind creates everything around you that you see. You, you don't don't pretend anything else. I mean, that's just you are the hand of God creating all this crap. And uh, by the way, me, especially me included, and everybody, we ought to start thinking more about what we're creating with our minds. <laughs> Yeah. Not to be, not to get out with my our sister, nose in our phones. My, yeah. my sister Mary Babylon ruler here, but <laughs> what? Hey, uh, did the word love appear in what you read? Well, it's just intense something. Was that well, what was right? That? What was that? I, 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 I may my, be mistaken. I may be mistaken. <clears throat> it's not there. But the word love uh, did not appear in yours. But the word love did appear in Crowley's. Well, he just translated what they said. That, please find this for me again. I took my, my monkey bookmark out. Well, here's the end of it. Because yeah. Crowley in the second verse said, To wield one th the one thing's thaumaturgy, love, that's the one thing's well, that's Magic. Gen okay. gentle heat. It says gentle heat and with much attention. With much attention. So that's love. But I like the fact that Crowley actually stuck the word love uh, uh, in this because. Uh, well, I do too because I, I'm I'm translating gentle heat with much attention to be love under will. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. And, oh, by the way, this is the first time I've ever read this, so excuse my weird. Yeah, she'll change her mind tomorrow. And I'll hear about it. <laughs> or maybe not. No, maybe not. As a matter of fact, thank you very much for your, your being a good sport. And uh, uh, you have the, you have the talent ways. to cut to the chase. So. That's because I have to make breakfast. <laughs> anyway, that, that is Sunday School. Uh, for today. I hope you have a good weekend. Stay, try to stay warm. Try to stay dry. And, uh, and think loving thoughts. Think loving thoughts. <laughs> and are creating think, your world around you. And think about what your thoughts are creating. Hmm. You're going to say do what thou wilt? Do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Uh, uh, love is the law of love and your will. See you tomorrow, I hope.